My name is Larry Gregory and I'm Software Support Engineer at IBM. So today I'm looking at work orders for Maximo 7.6 and after watching this video you'll be able to understand the details and impact on deleting a child from a work order and that relationship. So I've got a 7607 environment here that we can look up. So first if we create a work order in work order tracking just uh, a straightforward so if we create the child first and save that now it's important to understand that the status at the minute is waiting for approval so if we now create a new work order and this one's going to be the parent so Parent work order and save it, which again is also in waiting for approval status. Okay, we haven't modified that. So if we go to the plans and add the child for the children representative. Okay, so if we look for the child, child, okay. So we've not got a child work order associated to the parent and if we look at um, child 01 it's here parent 01 is here so both work orders exist if we now delete using this button and this is the detail I'm explaining in the video so we delete the work order um, as the associated child and we save that so I think right the child is no longer associated to this parent if we look for the child we find that actually the work order has been deleted um, and this was not necessarily something that you might have expected. You would have um, been able to see that, yes, the parent is here, but the child has, has gone. So the difference, uh, so typically you, you're not able to do that. You, you delete and you delete the relationship because in this case, the work order was still in waiting for approval and hadn't ever been approved you are allowed uh, and, and consequently gets fully deleted. That's the kind of only scenario where this would happen. So what if this was not the intention? This is something that you consider um, too risky for the application to be able to do. It can be avoided. You can avoid it by either going to the application designer and removing the icon or using the SIG options to have a security group that no longer has has that access i hope you find this useful today